are we supposed to carry on? How are you meant to farm when there isn't a single stable season? I mean, how has that ever been possible? I mean, like, since the Bible! In the meantime, they want us to go net zero and diversify, glamping and bloody rewilding. So the drama is about characters, but it's about these great challenges that they're facing in the natural world. How long do they think a beaver's going to last in that filth? <laughs> So it's a drama, it's a mystery, but it's obviously an examination also of the futures that we face because we're all going to need to eat food, even if we're not involved in agriculture and if we don't live in this region. Plays try to make that very vivid for the audience in these very intensively imagined scenarios which are there to, and designed to provoke conversation and discussion. I had to get up before dawn to get anywhere in the queue outside Lidl and I'm Rupert Reed. I'm a philosopher teaching at the University of East Anglia. And there's nothing fresh to eat. I mean, I was never a fan of fruit, but even an apple might be nice. I also used to be a lead spokesperson and strategist for Extinction Rebellion. And during that period, I wrote this little book, This Civilization Is Finished. It described three possible futures that we now face, which I suggest are the only options before us. And we now call these three options dodo, phoenix, or butterfly. There is no option of some kind of continuation of the status quo. The best that we can hope for, and it would be rather wonderful if we can achieve it, would be a transformation of everything without collapse, the butterfly scenario. But it's going to take a great deal to get there, so we have to think about the other scenarios too. So what do we do now, exactly? Go organic, of course. How do we do that without herbicides? And can we do both at scale? For Phoenix Dodo Butterfly, the audience have the chance to react to each scenario after it's shown and to ask questions of the people who wrote the original book and wrote the plays. Help us, Amy. That means starting from where we are, not where you think we should be. One of the things I think that drama can do is it can bring it straight into the lives of characters, straight into the lives of stories. And I think stories telling a struggle to accommodate the scale of this enormous challenge to the way that we live. Then you get it to the till and it's like, it costs 10 quid for one apple, like not even a nice apple, some manky apple. And I just thought, I've totally had it with this. And that's what's so exciting about having these three scenarios that we force people to step out of that assumption of business as usual and to experience the highs and the lows of something very different. The water will go down, the earth will emerge. Help will come, help has to come.